These are the five HMOs who do a lot of business in our state. Hundreds of thousands of people rely on them for health insurance. So how easy is it for hackers to steal your personal information through them? RJ Coles is here now with what we found in our investigation. Jay? Well, Ellen, we found four of the five HMOs failed our computer security test. It took only our computer forensic expert a few seconds to snatch personal information from the HMO's websites, which means thousands of Minnesotans' personal information could easily end up in the hands of hackers. I logged on to Health Partners' website, and within seconds, our computer investigator found this. Right underneath healthpartners.com, we have your username, Jay Coles. I should be surprised. Mark Lanterman owns Computer Forensic Services. He tested the websites of these five HMOs, and only Medica was secure. The others failed and were easily hacked. Usernames and passwords were not protected. Consumers are at risk of identity theft, fraud, credit card fraud. Um, this, is, this is a big deal. All of that just from snatching someone's username and password. If a bad guy is able to easily capture your password because you're going to one of these websites, he or she can use that same username and password and see, you know, try to determine where else you shop. Where else does, uh, uh, does the, the victim bank? And the HMOs that failed are the same HMOs that are part of the Minsure Exchange, where tens of thousands of Minnesotans are encouraged by state government to shop online for health care coverage. These organizations, and, and I believe the state, have an obligation to address these security flaws. And we contacted each HMO and shared our test results with them. No one wanted to talk on camera there, but health partners told us they are working to solve this problem. UCARE told us it's taking strong measures to find the security breach. And Preferred One told us they take what we found very seriously. But Blue Cross Blue Shield told us they had already corrected the problem. Mr. Lanterman tested their site again after that message from Blue Cross and found the security problem still exists on the Blue Cross website. Live in the newsroom, Jay Coles, 45 TV. And we've brought in Mark many times to find out how secure your info is. He investigated gaps in Minsure. He told us how hackers are using a device to steal people's information through Wi-Fi. He's also been a valuable resource as the target breach investigation unfolds. To catch up on any of those reports, we'll connect you to them at KSTC45.com.